We're on the road. Where transportation goes, community grows. Welcome to On the Road with the MTA. And welcome to another edition of On the Road with the MTA. I'm Jay Gibbons alongside with Stephanie Kay from the MTA. How's Stephanie today? I am great. I'm just talking to you about the holiday. Right now, my house looks great. It's all decorated for Halloween. Yeah. Because in the summertime, I have the hanging baskets. I let them die. And then I put this uh, cobweb around them for, for Halloween. And I put cobweb everywhere to make it look so fun. But the day after Halloween, I get depressed because it looks so bare. I, there's something to decorate for Thanksgiving. There's tons of things. You can use like leaves what? and food and pumpkins and all kinds well, of Well, I'll keep my pumpkin out there. And I do have a bale of hay with these corn stalks on them I got from Girl Scouts. And a scarecrow. So should I just take a scarecrow away and leave that out? It depends. Is scarecrow real scary? He, no. He's just kind of a friendly oh, scarecrow. Oh, then that, you can keep friendly scarecrow. You think that would be Thanksgiving-like? Yep. Yes. All right. Well, I do want to put my Christmas lights up before it gets cold. So I might do that and just not turn them on after you can always turn your christmas lights on i mean heck they can start I? playing christmas music november 1st so but you haven't not? seen my christmas lights <laughs> it looks like uh the uh christmas what's that called with the uh griswold family <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i do like decorating anyway there's nothing in between though so i feel kind of like you know bare and kind of depressed in between. well you don't need to be bare and depressed you just okay. need to put decorations up okay well if it makes you happy it makes you it happy it does make me happy there's yeah, no yeah. decorations for thanksgiving but i do have something that makes me happy and that is when people help each other yep. and we're on the phone right now with Angela, she's a doctor, and she is doing a pro. A, 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 um, well, I'm going to say her name is Doctor. I hope I'm saying this right. Shernowski. and I was going to say sure. Now I can ski. That's how I remembered it. <laughs> doctor Angela Shernowski. Did I pronounce that right, Angela? Yes, you did. Good Angela, job. Thank Yay. you. I know you're a doctor. Yay! I know you're a doctor, but tell us what your field is. Chiropractic. Oh, oh so she can adjust you Helping well. Helping all those people with neck and back pain and joint pain. Awesome. Mm. That's very important too, isn't it? People are either yes, in love it with is. it, either in love with it, or they're afraid of it. So there's not a lot in between, is there? Yep. Oh, I wish people weren't afraid of it. It's non-drug. It's non-surgical. It's safe. It's natural. It's effective. It's good stuff. Yep. Well, I had a friend who was a chiropractor, a chiropractor. I loved her. I went to her a lot. I did go to one that was, he didn't do like any massage or maybe any kind of uh, x-ray. And he kind of did a little bit too hard and I got hurt. So I was a little mm. apprehensive now, but maybe I should come back to you because I know you'll be gentle. And maybe. Yeah, you can- that, that happens sometimes. Anytime you work with the body physically, there's always a chance to aggravate something um, or to cause some sort of aches or pains. But sure. as a general rule, I keep things pretty gentle in my office and, right. and make sure my patients have a good experience and get feeling better as quickly as possible. Good. I like to hear that. Well, I just, for some yes. reason, I have tendonitis in my elbow. I think it's tendonitis. It hurts so bad. I can't like open up a, bo- a bottle of pop without it hurting. Do Can chiropractic help that or not? Chiropractic care? Absolutely. So chiropractors, while they're in school, learn to adjust all joints of the body, not just the spine. But in addition to that, I have taken postdoctoral training to specialize in treating the extremities. So the feet, the knees, the hips, the hands, the elbows, the shoulders is actually where my specialty lies in this profession. So tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, carpal tunnel, shoulder impingement, Hmm. knee and hip arthritis, plantar fasciitis, those are all right up my alley. Well, it sounds Hmm. like you're a miracle, like the Wizard of Oz, like you can do it all, so I'm going to come see you and see what you can do. Well, Stephanie, (laughs) Stephanie, there's only one way to find out. I know. I'll have to come and see you where you're located. Grand Blank Chiropractic is on Saginaw Road on the south end of Grand Blank. Just south of McCandlish. Oh, I know right where that is. Okay, well, I'm going to come see you. you. You've given me faith again. I think maybe that can work. So I'm going to come and see you, and we'll figure that out. But actually, that's not what we're calling you I'll today. I, I will. I, yeah, definitely. I think we're going to get along just right, because you do a lot of other things, too. And Jet Kilmer told me how wonderful you are. And the reason for this yes. interview today is you're doing something called Women Helping Women, Women, and that's going to take place in Fenton um, on November 8th. And I want to hear more about that. What is that all about? Ooh, actually, it's taking place right in my office, oh. Grand Blank Chiropractic, Wednesday, November 8th, 6 to 8 p.m. I'm doing a Women Helping Women networking event. It's to benefit Center of Hope, which is in Fenton. Oh, that's right. Center that. of Hope provides mm-hmm. emergency housing, food pantry, baby supplies, counseling services, among other things, 
to those in need in the Fenton and surrounding areas. So what one of the things they are really in need of to help stock their pantry is for feminine care, toiletry and supply type items. So that's why I called it the Women Helping Women. Um, uh, of course, men can come to the event too, but to help stock those feminine related supplies in the pantry at Center of Hope, um, we're serving uh, we're serving some drinks, some wine, and some mm. coffee. And my mother is an excellent baker, and she is doing a variety of desserts for us that night. Oh my! So I'm doing my best to tempt people to come to the event, enjoy some good company, meet some great women, bring your your business cards so you can network. And, and if you are a business owner, try and get some business for yourself. Um, and then enter your business card or we'll have raffle tickets for raffle prizes. So we also got some great prizes for the night too, to everyone who comes out, makes either a monetary donation to Center of Hope or like I said, bring some of those feminine related supplies to donate to Center of Hope. Everybody who donates will get a raffle ticket and um, may get drawn to win some incredible prizes while you're there as well. Well, I'm definitely going to bring some things to you because I have, my mother passed away recently and she had a lot of, it was like bars of soap and she had things that run open. I don't oh, know why. Sure. She, yeah. So I'll bring all of those. What is the address there yeah. again? What's the address? 8445 South Saginaw in Grand Blank, okay. Grand Blank Chiropractic. If you're able to come to the event, that would be great. If you want to make a donation but are not able to come to the event, you can stop by my office anytime during business hours. I'm here Monday through Thursday, 10 till 1, 3 till 6. Okay. Well, I'm going to call you anyway to make an appointment to come and see you. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. definitely look forward to that because my elbow is hurting so bad. <laughs> I would love to have yeah. someone to help with that. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, well, it's wonderful. Thank you. Well, no, I think what you're doing is just fantastic. I love helping people. And so once again, they can come by, they can, they can call. What is the phone number there if they want to call you and make, get directions or make a donation? 810-240-2384. And probably easier than calling is just to go to my website, grandblankchiropractic.com, and you can contact me directly through the website. Perfect. So our office number, phone number is on there. Our office hours are on there. Um, if you if you like Grand Blank Chiropractic on Facebook, you'll get the information for the event on social media. So that's another uh, way to learn more about the event and to remind yourself of the day day and time. Awesome. I'm just so glad you're doing this. This is the first time you've ever done that, right? Is it the an yeah, first annual? I've, I've done events similar to this in the past, uh, but it's been a little bit, it's been a little while, quite honestly. So I met Jennifer. She is the uh, director. I guess I'm not sure exactly what her title is at Center of Hope. She runs it though. Um, I met her, I had the pleasure of meeting her about two months ago and her and I struck up a good conversation and I became really interested in the organization and all the good that it does in Fenton and the surrounding communities. And um, yeah, and so decided to, to do this event in my office to help them and um, yeah, to, to help just serve other people and, and, and also give an opportunity for, for local women to support other women in need and give other business owners an opportunity to come and meet other business owners and bring their their business cards and do some networking it's just it's a win-win situation for everyone well i am just so thrilled about this i can't wait to meet you i can't wait to help out some people and yeah. and get rid of some of the uh products my mom has in my house because i'm overwhelmed with everything i have there so yeah. and would yeah, you take clothing you do you take clothing too or is this mainly just the um the feminine products well, in the I would say no to clothing. I, okay. I don't, honestly, I don't know if they have a closet along with the pantry. Oh, sure. I don't believe they do. Well, they she, the, re the reason I ask is she had three stores and we have inventory from her three stores and she had jewelry oh, and sure. crystals and, and then just, you know, her own picture on products like yeah. that that I'm talking about. And she had yeah. some red hat lady stuff. I, you so I'll, you're the second person who asked me about that. So I might contact Jennifer myself 
and anybody can reach out to her at Center of Hope directly and just ask. But I will ask her about clothing donations if she's accepting that okay. or not. Well, right now I know you you need the toiletries, so I'll be working on those and I'll bring them over toiletries, to you for sure. Yes. All right. I'm yes. going to call you after this too because I'm going to make an appointment just to see you on my own. So I can't wait to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I look forward to it. Well, thank you so much, Angela. We sure appreciate your time and doing this. And thank you for listening now. You'll know to listen to On the Road with the MTA. That's right. That was Stephanie K and J. Absolutely. We do it every week. We do it yeah. every week. I look forward to seeing some of your listeners November 8th, 6 to 8 p.m. at Graham Lake Chiropractic for the, the Women Helping Women event. Perfect. Great. We'll see you then. And thanks for listening. And thank you okay. for listening. Thank every you, Stephanie. Week. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And keep listening every week as we do this. We bring you something that's free, beneficial, hopeful, and just fun for the community. Um, You've been listening to On the Road with the MTA. For more information on our services and community outreach, visit us online anytime at www.mtaflint.org. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The MTA, your community, your connection, your way.